Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on configure network services to start automatically at boot. So there are two things I will cover because this one one of the um, this is one of the things that are slightly unclear. So I'm going to cover two things to make sure we cover all bases. So the first one is to uh, in, enable a particular network uh, service that uses network. Um, to enable it to start automatically at boot, which will be just using system CTL, which I'll just do now. So the usual. Okay, so system CTL and the service name. Uh, so system CTL enable, and then the service name. So we can do, for example, network manager in this and that will enable it at boot, it's as easy as that and obviously there's the option to do a disable if you wanted to to disable that from boot um, they may talk about stuff like installing something like um, a HTTP service and then enabling that at boot uh, so we can just do a DNF install HTTPD let that do its installation. Oh, and for those who are not aware, HTTPD is essentially Apache, which is a um, HTTP server that hosts websites. So it's yeah, it's very flexible. It's used all over the world, um, and it's as easy as DNF install HTTPD, and you've got a very very basic uh, web server. So to enable that service, for example, on boot, it's System CTL again, and enable, and then HTTPD. And you can just see that it's created a sim symbolic link to from multi user user target that now wants the HTTP dot uh, D service, so it will enable it on boot. So that's that one. That will cover off um, any services that use network. And then the final one um, I want to cover here, because uh, it's quite a light subject, really, this one, is to actually enable the network uh, card or the particular network connection. Uh, to a net, uh, start on boot, so it'll actually connect up on boot. So that is nmlcli again, connection mod or connection modify, and then a connection. Oh, connection modify. Give the connection name. So just do eve zero again, and then connection dot auto connect, and then yes. And all it does is say on boot, um, make sure this connection is actually going to um, be enabled. So it's a, you can obviously do that to disable a particular connection if you're there, thank you're interested in as well. So that's just on auto connect, no, and as easy as that. I'll leave that as yes for now. Um, yeah, that is about it. It's pretty simple. So there's two things. So it's to cover is a, a network service, as in a service that uses the network so that's the system CTL command with the en system CTL enable and then the service name and then finally there's NML CLI which uh, NMCLI which we've used quite uh, quite heavily in the previous couple of videos and that is just enabling a uh, connection modifying to uh, enable the auto connect which means uh, enable on boot and that's just saying yes to that to enable that that pretty much covers the video it's a very qu quick one um, as always I've popped my details on the screen here now so we've got um, my Kofi page for any donations they will be greatly appreciated um, as I keep running this channel we've got my T public uh, merchandise store which is again linked there and linked in the description below and then finally my discord and again the details of that are in the link below as well uh, that's that's about it. Um, thanks a lot again uh, for watching my videos. Uh, much appreciated. Please like and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified on any new videos. Thanks again.